Hi, welcome to our second video of class 7 civics, chapter 2nd, role of the government in health. Students, in the previous video, we have discussed about the meaning of health and public health care services. And today, we will be discussing about private health facilities and health care and equality. Well, let us start. Students, can you tell me the first case of novel coronavirus was identified in which country? Yes, the first case of novel coronavirus was identified in the Wuhan Hubei province of China. And today, the most of the countries of the world, they are affected by the pandemic coronavirus. Now come to the topic, private health facilities. Student, but before starting this topic, I just want to introduce you the term private. Private means an activity or service that is organized by an individual or company for their own profit. And today we have to discuss about private health facilities. Students, there is a wide range of private health facilities that exist in our country. A large number of doctors run their own private clinics. In the rural area, one find registered medical practitioners RMPs. The urban areas have a large number of doctors and many of them providing specialized services. बच्चों हमारे देश में कई तरह की प्राइवेट हेल्थ फैसिलिटीज हैं वो पाई जाती हैं बड़ी संख्या में जो डॉक्टर हैं वो अपने प्राइवेट क्लिनिक्स चलाते हैं ग्रामीण क्षेत्रों में आपको आरएमपी जो रजिस्टर्ड मेडिकल प्रैक्टिशनर्स हैं वो मिल जाएंगे शहरी क्षेत्रों में बड़ी संख्या में ऐसे भी डॉक्टर हैं जो बहुत से विशेषज्ञ की सेवाएं प्रदान करते हैं और निजी रूप से चलाए जाने वाले अस्पताल व नर्सिंग होम भी शहरी क्षेत्रों में पाए जाते हैं इन दीज हॉस्पिटल्स देयर आर आल्सो शॉप्स फ्रॉम वेयर वी बाय मेडिसिंस देयर आर सेवरल लेबोरेटरीज दैट डू टेस्ट ऑफर स्पेशल फैसिलिटीज लाइक एक्सरे अल्ट्रासाउंड एटसेट्रा इन द अर्बन एरियाज बट for these facilities patients have to pay a lot of money for every service now we have to discuss about the next topic healthcare and equality students in india we face a situation where private services are increasing but public services are not these services are run for profit the cost of these services is high and medicines are expensive various people cannot have enough money to pay them or they have to borrow money when there is an illness in the family and these private services encourage practices that are incorrect in order to earn more money for example it is common to find doctors prescribing unnecessary medicines injections or saline bottles where the tablets or simple medicines can be sufficient bachcho hamare desh bharat mein hum ek aisi sthiti ka samna kar rahe hain jahan niji sewaye to badh rahi hain किंतु सार्वजनिक सेवाएं उनके तुलना में काफी कम है ऐसी दशा में लोगों को मुख्यतः निजी सेवाएं ही उपलब्ध हो पाती हैं और ये सेवाएं शहरी क्षेत्रों में केंद्रित हैं और इन सेवाओं का मूल्य भी अपेक्षाकृत अधिक रहता है दवाइयां महंगी होती हैं और बहुत से लोग उन्हें खरीदने में समर्थ नहीं होते हैं इसीलिए जब परिवार में कोई बीमारी होती है तो एक बहुसंख्यक आबादी को लोन लेने पड़ते हैं और कुछ प्राइवेट सर्विसेस तो ऐसी है जो ज्यादा पैसा कमाने के लिए ऐसी गतिविधियों को करते हैं जो कि सही नहीं है कई बार सस्ते तरीके उपलब्ध होने पर भी उनके प्रयोग नहीं किए जाते उदाहरण के लिए प्राय देखा जाता है कि कुछ जो डॉक्टर्स हैं वो जरूरत से ज्यादा मेडिसिन इंजेक्शन आदि की सलाह जो है वो मरीजों को देते हैं स्टूडेंट फॉर दो पीपल हु आर पुअर एवरी इलनेस इन द फैमिली इज अ कॉज ऑफ ग्रेट एंगजाइटी एंड डिस्ट्रेस वॉट इज वर्स इज दैट This situation tends to happen again and again. Those who are poor in the first place undernourished. These families are not eating as much as they should. They are not provided basic necessities like drinking water, adequate housing and clean surrounding etc. and therefore are more likely to fall in. And the expenses on illness make their situation even worse. Garib logon ke liye हर बीमारी चिंता और मुसीबत का कारण बन जाती है और इससे भी बड़ी बात यह है कि ऐसी स्थिति बार बार आती है और बीमारी पर होने वाले खर्चे से उनकी हालत दिन प्रतिदिन और भी खराब होती चली जाती है और कभी कभी केवल पैसा ही लोगों को बेहतर इलाज में बाधक नहीं होता उदाहरण के लिए महिलाओं को तुरंत इलाज के लिए डॉक्टर के पास नहीं ले जाया जाता और कई आदिवासी क्षेत्रों में जो हेल्थ सेंटर्स है वो काफी कम है और जो है वो भी अच्छी तरीके से नहीं चलाए जाते और वहाँ पे तो प्राइवेट फेसिलिटीज भी अवेलेबल नहीं है so the next question is what can be done there is a little doubt that 
the health situation of most people in our country is not good and it is the responsibility of the government to provide quality health care services to all its citizens, especially the poor and disadvantaged. However, health is as much dependent on the basic amenities and social conditions of the people as it is on the health care services. Hence, it is important to work on both in order to improve the health situation of our people. Now take a look on the Kerala experience. Students, in 1996, the Kerala government made some major changes in the state. 40% of the entire state budget was given to Panchayat, so they could plan and provide for their requirement. This made it possible for a village to make sure that proper planning was done for water, food, women's development and education. Now, we will try to understand the Kerala of Kerala, that the government is the government, वो अपने लोगों को बेहतर सुविधाएं मुहैया करा सकती हैं। बच्चों साल 1996 में केरल सरकार ने राज्य में कुछ महत्वपूर्ण परिवर्तन किए और इसमें परिवर्तन में पूरे राज्य के बजट का 40 प्रतिशत पंचायतों को दे दिया गया। इससे पंचायतें अपनी आवश्यकताओं को योजनाबद्ध कर उनकी पूर्ति कर सकती थीं। इससे गांव के लिए पीने का पानी, आहार, औरतों के विकास और शिक्षा के लिए उचित व्यवस्था सुनिश्चित करना संभव हो सका। और इसके फलस्वरूप जल वितरण व्यवस्था की जांच की गई, स्कूलों और आंगनबाड़ियों के काम को सुनिश्चित किया गया और गांव की विशेष समस्याओं पर भी ध्यान दिया गया। Now take a look on the next example of Costa Rica. Costa Rica is considered to be one of the healthiest countries in South America. The main reason for this can be found in the Costa Rican Constitution. Several years ago, Costa Rica took a very important decision and decided not to have an army. This helped the Costa Rican government to spend the money that the army would have used on health, education and other basic needs of the people. The Costa Rican government provides basic services and amenities to all Costa Ricans. Costa Rica को मध्य अमेरिका का सबसे स्वस्थ देश माना जाता है और इसका मुख्य कारण उसके संविधान में निहित है। कई वर्षों पहले कोस्टा रिका ने एक महत्वपूर्ण निर्णय लिया था कि वे देश में सेना नहीं रखेंगे। इससे उन्हें सेना पर वैक किए जाने वाले धन को लोगों की शिक्षा, स्वास्थ्य और अन्य आधारभूत जरूरतों पर खर्च करने में मदद मिली। कोस्टा रिका की सरकार मानती है कि देश के विकास के लिए देश का स्वास्थ्य होना जरूरी है और इसलिए अपने a large number of doctors run their own private clinics. In the rural areas, one finds registered medical practitioners RMPs. In India, we face a situation where private services are increasing but public services are not. Private services are concentrated in urban areas and it is the responsibility of the government to provide quality healthcare services to all its citizens, especially the poor and the disadvantaged. Now I will ask some questions to you based on today's topic. Your first question is what does RMP means and your options are A. Retired Medical Practitioner B. Registered Medical Practitioner C. Recognized Medical Practitioner D. None of these and the right answer is option B. Registered Medical Practitioner. Your second question is where do most doctors prefer to settle and your options are A. Urban areas B. Rural area C. Foreign region D. None of these. And the right answer is option A. Urban areas. The third question is what problem do we face in private hospitals? Your options are A. We have to spend more in comparison to government hospitals. B. We have to buy all medicines prescribed by the doctor from outside. C. We are also forced to avail all facilities not from outside. D. All of the above. And the right answer is D all of the above. Your fourth question is in which year the Kerala government made major changes in the state. Your options are A 1990, B 1996, C 1998, D 1995 and the right answer is option B 1996. Now it's time for practice. Students your first question for your homework is what are private healthcare services? And second question is, is adequate healthcare available to all of us? Explain. And the third question is, medical expenses cause hardship for all? Explain the statement. Students, we will be present soon 
with the video of next chapter thank you